hopefully we'll get some answers from Democratic strategist James Carville and Republican strategist Ari Fleischer. Join me now. James, the president says this is not a distraction. It's, in fact, going to be the centerpiece of the campaign, uh, these attacks on Mitt Romney's record right. at Bain and what that means, uh, that, that, uh, how he would rule or how he would govern as president. Is that smart? Is that smart for him to double down on this, James? Well, yeah, they were going to do it. But understand, what happened here is Romney made his experience at Bain central to his, to his candidacy. He said he created a net 100,000 jobs. He talked about that. He never talked about being governor of Massachusetts or anything else. So, of course, it's, it's, it, of course, it's not an attack on private equity. It's an attack on what Romney says that he did. And he said, wait a minute, this is, these are other things that happened there. I don't even understand the whining about this. Romney's a man who has resources. Go find people that, whose job you saved and put them on television. It, this is, this is unbelievable. I, my, in my opinion, it's a very legitimate thing to talk about. It's not an attack on the free enterprise system or anything. It's one guy saying, I just want the credit for all the good things that happened, but if you, if you say anything bad things happened, then you're some kind of terrible person. I, I, I answer the ads and go on about your business. All right, what about that? I mean, isn't Romney's record fair game? Well, I hope they continue to go after Bain. I hope they do it all the way through November uh, because I have a feeling it's just going to continue to backfire. I think that's one of the reasons so many Democrats are uneasy with these attacks. And certainly when you look at what Mitt Romney said, he actually has said a very balanced statement. He said some of these investments made, uh, uh, were successful and made money and created jobs. Others didn't. He, he has exactly said 100,000 jobs. The sector plays. He has said 100,000 jobs Mitt created. Mitt Romney has made that balanced statement about it. Mm -hmm. And what's really wrong about the ads, while it's certainly fair game to talk about what people did in their living, he was gone from Bain. He was gone from both the companies that they've attacked him for years before the companies went bankrupt. So even if you think bankruptcy in of itself is disqualifying in the private sector, Mitt Romney was no longer part of the company. But, but Ari, he has said that he created 100,000 or helped create 100,000 jobs. That math is kind of fuzzy. And he has claimed credit for things that happened at Bain after he left, but does uh, walk away from things that happened at Bain after, but w when he wasn't there. Can he have it both ways? You, you know, uh, well, I don't think you're ever going to find a politician who doesn't use some number for the number of jobs they claim to have created, and I think they're always going to be arguable numbers. The bottom line is when you look at the role the private sector, including private equity, plays, they always create some jobs, they always lose some jobs. What you look for is, is the net positive, and certainly with a successful company like Bain, the net has been very positive. They have an excellent reputation, which is something that has been talked about by the Democrats. It's one of the reasons people believe in Mitt Romney because they think he can turn around a broken economy, and that's what we need in this country. James, isn't the, the, uh, the Obama administration in their ads, though, isn't the campaign cherry-picking what companies they're focusing uh, on about Bain? Well, uh, Mitt Romney started this. Understand, Bain was central to his case. It is what he talked about. It was the central part of his stump speech. And he says he creates a net 100,000 jobs, okay? They're talking about his experience, what he did and what he didn't do. And the whining and the coughing and the complaining and everything else. You know, it's a saying, if, if you're afraid of snakes, don't go in the swamp. If, 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 if you're afraid that, that your, your record is going to get examined, don't run for president. That, 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 that's the simple thing here. He put it front and center about who he is, and they're saying, hold to, wait, this is what you did. Romney's a man with, with considerable resources. He can answer it, he can put people on, he can do anything that he wants. But the idea that there's something wrong with discussing Mitt Romney's record in vain, it's just, I don't even understand what the, what the charge is. James, it, maybe, James, does it surprise you that the Obama, that the Obama campaign hasn't focused more on, on his record at creating jobs as governor of Massachusetts, because his whole argument is what I learned right. at Bain teaches me in government how to create jobs. I suspect that they will, but you wouldn't know that Romney was ever governor of Massachusetts if you go to one of his stump speeches and watched his ads during the, during the Republican primary. That's just some, he'd just rather kind of forget that. And of course they're going to do, of course that, that's not going to do that, but this thing is sort of engaged and Romney wanted to create this story of, hey, I'm a guy that I, I, I'm all successful all the time. I did all these wonderful things. And they're saying, wait a minute, okay. there's another side to the story. And it's a totally legitimate thing in politics. Are, are he, is, is Romney vulnerable on his record in Massachusetts creating jobs? No, I, I don't think so. I think when you look at his record in its totality and you look at the reputation he has as a fixer of economies, that's what this election is going to come down to. But let me remind James, it wasn't Mitt Romney who initially objected to this ad. It was your own. It was Cory Booker on Meet the Press, which was then quickly followed up by Ed Rendell, the former chairman of the Democratic National Committee. So the whining and the complaining that you're complaining about is in your own party. Oh, They're the man, ones who come blew on, the whistle on your own player. 
I, I don't, don't think that, that. You haven't heard Mitt Romney say this. I think this is a debate that actually helps Mitt Romney. The more this election is fought over economic matters, the economy, Bill, I mean, Barack Obama acts as if he hasn't been the president of the United States for the last three and a half years. He just wants to blame everything on anybody who came before him. He acts as if none of his policies have anything to do with the bad economy that we have tight right now. Well, so the more the election is fought on those issues, the stronger I think it's going to be for Mitt Romney and Republicans. James, is it just, the Democrats yeah, I just, uh, how, how does a guy from the Bush administration sit here and, and, and blame Obama? I mean, it's just it, it's vexing. Obama takes office and losing 750,000 jobs, and then and then Mitt Romney wants to talk about Carter. But if you say something about Bush, you can't do that. If you say something about Bain, how, how said, many, there were people out there. You know, Ari, I didn't interrupt you. There are people out there that were complaining and whining about this Bain thing forever. You get in, the, you get in this, you you get in the game. They're going to come after you. You don't get to tell just your side of the story. They're going to tell the side of Obama. They're going to say you, you lost jobs or you did this. That's what happens when you run for re-election. I'm just simply saying that his record at Bain, he put it front and center. It is a very valid issue to dissect. It's very valid for Romney to come back and say he did all these wonderful things. In Governor Mass, it was 47th in job creation. Hey, let him run an ad and say I was better than three other states. Louisiana was one, and we had Hurricane Katrina, which I think was a little bit of a disadvantage for us. But let him run on his record as job creating as governor of Massachusetts. It's certainly not unfair for me to point out they were 47. Ari, right, I gotta let you respond to it. Go. I'm doing no complaining about it. I think it is an appropriate thing to talk about, and I think that's why the Democrats have said what they've said because they recognize the role that the private economy plays. Barack Obama doesn't. You get the sense that the president just has this distrust of all things private, the private economy, the private sector. You know, he, he attacks people for riding on corporate planes, but never says anything about all the Hollywood people who ride on corporate jets, or the sports and the stars and the athletes who ride on private planes. Just corporate. You know, he has an anti-business approach, and that's reflected in the way he's governed, the things he said, and it's one of the reasons we have so little job creation. Businesses are very worried with Barack Obama that there are going to be so many taxes and regulations. That's suppressing job growth. All right, Fleischer, James Carville, guys, thanks very much.